Hey guys, this is Mr. Myasis here coming to you straight from my classroom and we're going to get going here with um, Calculus BC. So this is a review section. This is uh, for my BC Calculus class. This is lesson 1, 1A. This is the very, very first video, Trig Review Limits and Continuity. So let's get going um, so I don't, don't take too long on this video. So we're looking at some review. Um, all we're going to do here, for example, one is use this triangle and use Sokotoa. So we got a three, four, five right triangle. Remember that sine, sine was opposite over adjacent, uh, opposite over hypotenuse, right? We're using Sokotoa. So opposite over hypotenuse. So we get three fifths. Pretty easy. Tangent is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we get three fourths. And secant is 1 over cosine. Now I know that we can think of it in a different way, but I want you to remember it as 1 over cosine. Um, since cosine is 4 fifths adjacent over hypotenuse, secant is going to be 5 fourths. So it's easy as that, all right? So just uh, remember these rules here for your, um, for your sine, cosine, and tangent. All right, for example number two, we want to um, put an angle in standard position. So standard position, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because we got negative 5 up 2. All right, so there's our point 5, 2. So we've got a line coming out that way. If we make a triangle here, a reference triangle, we've got 5 here, 2 there, and then we're going to do Pythagorean theorem. If you do Pythagorean theorem, we're going to end up with square root of 29. All right, so the sine, sine again was opposite over hypotenuse, so we would have um, 2 over root 29. We don't have to simplify that. Cosecant is the inverse, so, so the reciprocal, not the inverse, the reciprocal of sine. So that's going to be root 29 over 2. Cosecant is 1 over sine. And the cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Since tangent is opposite over adjacent, which would have been 2 over negative 5, we're going to have cotangent is negative 5 over 2. All right, so that's example 2. Example three, we want to write a reference triangle. So we're basically making a triangle at 210 degrees. 210 degrees is all the way over here. So there's 210 degrees. And we make a triangle here. This angle here is 30 degrees. Right? That's a 30 degree angle. If you remember from your unit circle, these coordinates would be negative root 3 over 2, comma negative 1 half. Hopefully you can see that. That's kind of small there. And we get negative root 3 over dos. So for this one, 315 is all the way over here. All right, gives us a 45 degree angle right here. And if you remember, tangent of a 45 degree angle is just one. There you go. That's it for that. Let's go on to the next one. So again, this is review, guys. You should already know how to do all this stuff here. Um, since two pi is radians is 360 degrees, it follows that pi radians is 180 degrees. So if I want to convert these two, I divide uh, pi by 2, divide 180 by 2, I get 90 degrees, right? So that's a pretty easy one to know straightforward. This one is going to be 45 degrees, all right? If we cut it in thirds, we're going to have 60 degrees. Cut it in six, 180 divided by 6 is 30 degrees. All right, so that's pretty easy to convert from radian to degree, especially since a lot of these ones we're going to be doing with uh, the unit circle. So if we remember the unit circle, we'll know that this is 225 degrees. Um, we'll know that this is 3 pi over 2. And negative 120, remember, goes the other way. We're going to keep it as negative 2 pi over 3. If you want to do it the hard way, we multiply by uh, pi over 180, and that will also give us our angle in radian degree. Or, I'm sorry, in radian degree. That doesn't even make sense. In radian, our angle in radian. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here, make a reference triangle. So we're going to go ahead and go negative 3 pi over 4. Negative 3 pi over 4 is right here. There's negative 3 pi over 4. If you remember that this in a unit circle is negative root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. So our cosine is the x value here, which is negative root 2 over 2. The cosecant of 5 pi over 3, so 5 pi over 3 is right about here. That's at 5, that's 5 pi over 3. And our coordinates for that are 1 half comma negative root 3 over 2. So our cosecant, remember, is 1 over sine. Our cosecant is 1 over sine, so we're going to get 1 over, our sine was negative root 3 over 2. Okay, we'll leave it like that. We don't have to simplify. Okay. 
So here is a unit circle for you. And um, you need to know this. You need to know it um, just by being able to put one of the points on there and figuring it out. So if I had sine of pi over 6, I should be able just to go to pi over 6, write down my, my uh, coordinates like I did in the previous ones, like I did over here, and then just you know know what the coordinates are and put it in. Um, you will only be dealing with uh, radians in the unit circle in this class, but it's so, so important that you know how to do and deal with your unit circle. It's one of the, the pillars of um, calculus in either A, B, or B, C, and knowing it is crucial for your success. So sine is going to be your y value, cosine is your x value, and tangent is sine over cosine, so it's your y over x value. So if we looked at this real quick, we go to a sine of pi over 6, pi over 6 is here. Our y value is 1 half, so it's 1 half. Take a second and fill these in from your memory to see if you can do it. So go ahead and pause it for a second, and then I'll come back. All right, here we go. So sine of 0 is 0, because that's the y value at a radian measure of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. That's the ra x value at a radian measure of 0. Sine of pi over 2 is going to be 1. And tangent of negative pi over 2, negative pi over 2 is over here, right? It's right here. Well, tangent is sine over cosine. That's negative 1 over 0, which you can't do, so we're going to call that undefined. Okay, undefined. That's undefined. So, tangent of pi is going to be 0. And cosecant of 3 pi over 2 is going to be negative 1. Because um, <clears throat> cosecant is 1 over sine. And finally, we get cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. So these are just some quick, really, really quick, some trig review that you should know before um, tackling some calculus stuff. All right. Thanks for joining me. Bye.